Oh, hi Capricorn. <laughs> it's Tuesday. I'm going to do your general love reading. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus. It is general as you know. It will not, cannot resonate for everyone. Started the camera before I meant to, but that's okay. So how are you guys? Hopefully everybody's doing well. We had some snow here in Texas, which is always a thrill for us. Ooh, a tower. Whoa. Okay, so some of my cards are in reverse. It's interesting because that usually doesn't happen. So, a tower in reverse. I like it. That means, what does that mean? Let me think. <laughs> so, obviously, a tower is something drastic happening. It doesn't have to be bad. Typically, it's bad. In this case, it probably means that something bad either happened, but it, the benefit of it is coming around. Or it means a tower happened, but... It was a good tower. Does that make sense? We'll elaborate. All right. <clears throat> so what else? So roles can be reversed. I think somebody misses you. Something about that tower. Of course, that was just one card, but um, roles can be reversed. They can intermingle and flip around. Look at this. See, yeah, deception. So somebody was deceptive, but it's in reverse, which is very strange. So I don't know, I might not take the reversals from now on, but I have to plan that ahead of time. Um, but anyway, the deception card, the seven of swords is in reverse. You could be dealing with an air sign, a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. But look at that, five of pentacles is also in reverse. So out in the cold, that whatever deception happened that caused a tower, it is, um, this is going to be a really good reading, okay? Because something um, good is coming out of it, which does typically happen. Towers cause us to rebuild, you know? So think about, and the reason it has to be something pretty drastic is because to be considered a tower is if you, here's a little tiny explanation about it. So if you, um, so say, Towers are all about something crumbling down because it wasn't on a, it wasn't stable. So sometimes we need a little bit of a nudge, you know, or a big nudge in the case of a tower. So think about it like this: if your if your house burn catches on fire and a corner of it burns, right, which did happen to me or to my parent, my dad's house when I was young. If it actually tears a hole in your house. You have to rebuild it. You can't ignore it. You can't look away. You've got a hole in your house. It's a pretty big deal, right? So that would be like a tower happening, but metaphorically, a tower would be, you know, something, well, it could be an actual fire, but usually not in love readings. Anyway, I'm rambling. But if your shed were to burn down in your backyard, you wouldn't have to, you don't have to do anything about it. Definitely not right away. It's something you could put off or live with. Um, and that is why universe, you know, spirit steps in and causes towers sometimes because something does need to change and we're not changing it on our own or somebody needs to be, you know, uh, brought to justice or made aware. Okay. Okay. That's good enough. All right. Thank you for bearing with me during that. Anyway, hopefully that was a nice little story. Okay, I do feel like the tower, okay, so the tower came down. Wow. Did you see that? We will have to rewind. I can't do it right now. The lovers. So when I was saying a tower came down, this flew out. This indicates a decision was made. I think somebody made the wrong decision and they deceived you in the process. There was some form of deceit, but that is upside down now. It's coming around, they wanna make it better. And, or they have no choice because the other thing they chose did not work out. I would definitely find out about that if they come back. But um, regardless, look at that. Oh, um, lots of regret. Somebody got cut out too, probably them. Somebody put a lid on that cup of love. 
didn't want to be treated like an option. Too much confusion. Sorry, I'm not holding the cards right. This is the Queen of Swords is cutting someone out. This is just pre-shuffle. I'm gonna lay out a spread. But everything was left unbalanced and somebody is full of regret. Imagine that. Okay, let's get started. <clears throat> Love that that um, lover's card came out. The lover's card is all about choosing. Look at that again. I need to make sure you guys can see these cards since they're flipping out so well. Um, this is could be dealing with a... Okay, this signifies Libra, um, Gemini, Aquarius, but also for me, Leo. Okay, she'll cut you out. She'll say something sharp if she needs to. She's not going to put up with lies or, you know, partial truths. She wants the facts and she wants them straight. Okay, all right. Another reversal, even though I just put all those cards in the upright. Do you see that? Wow, third party maybe, broken heart in reverse. Somebody's coming back. Let's lay out a spread. Okay, your current energy. Wow. <laughs> okay, you guys. Powerful spread here. I mean, reading two cups. Wanting equal give and take. Look at our first two cards. Um, equal give and take. Uh, I give you my cup, you give me yours. No, none of this, I have to work so hard for you to show me love. None of this, why don't you appreciate me? Uh-uh, it's equal, okay? Somebody gives, oh, why is my music so loud? Somebody takes one step forward. Two steps toward you, you take one back. That's called temperance. You don't text someone two or three times in a row, right? Temperance, it's balanced. Overall energy is somebody leaving. This is also darkness into light for me. There's a lot of emotion, a lot of cups, a lot of history, a lot of love. But he's leaving, walking away from that towards something more stable. What is your person, the person Capricorn is thinking about? What is their current energy? They want to take action, just like I said. Okay. Um, I'm going to shuffle these one more time, and then I'm going to stop. There's a death. Um, and then I'm going to stop. Um, but, well, gosh, when they fly out, I like to let them fly out. So let's just see. Nine of Cups, somebody's coming down off their high horse. Maybe somebody that was a little bit too self-involved. You know, this is self-love for me. It also can be getting carried away with that just because look how smug he looks. And, and for you readers that are watching, I get it. That's not, a, that's not a narcissist card for you. It just, for me, it seems to have always, not always, never mind. I do read it differently than most readers. Okay, because he does look smug to me. So that's the vibe I get sometimes. So glory in reverse. This is, you know, attention seeking. Um, it's glory and recognition. But look at this. Somebody's been, you know, knocked off their high horse. They're coming down to earth. There was a little, maybe a little bit too much self-love. Okay, going on there. Um... Hmm, how do they view you? That hangman out again and it just tried to come out a minute ago. Yeah, they view you as you've pulled back and you're holding back. You're not, you're not plunging forward. You're not doing action. This is good. You guys have them in a good position. They can't let go. And... How do they view the situation? Moving away from, leaving a rocky, very tumultuous situation, something that's been very up and down, in and out, unstable, 10 of swords, we've got a painful ending. If they were with somebody else, that looks like that's kind of probably where that, okay, we do have a tower with you and them because it looks like they chose someone else. Or they left for deceit, or you could, you know, cut it off. 
whatever. But the, it also looks like there's a, um, a tower on their end that is not just losing you. It's caused by losing you or it's an awakening from losing you. How do they see moving forward? Too many. Okay, let's just draw. Our snow just turned into rain. You can probably hear the cars going by. Okay. How do they see moving forward? There it is again. Ten, painful, ten of swords, painful ending. Again, I, I'm seeing a lot of Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, a lot of air. Air is mental, right? It can also be communication, um, but a lot of thought put into it. The, we have Taurus Virgo, we also have Gemini Strong, and we have a lot of water, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. We also have fire. We don't have any earth. Interesting. Not yet. We'll get to some. Okay, what you cannot see, you don't know this. I don't think you know this, but look at how... I feel like a nine is significant. This is nine of swords. Each of those swords may represent something some sort of memory, some sort of pain, some sort of lie, replaying, can't sleep, they're hurting, okay? They miss you, they, they're hurting. What um, Tara's advice is the cycle. This is cycle completion, so we'll clarify that. And outcome, here they come, back again with a cup of love. Temperance, didn't we talk about temperance? I felt the need to talk to you about temperance. No matter how this plays out, you don't overgive. It sets the tone wrong. Capricorn, you make sure that it's, um, you know, if you're the masculine, masculines like to lead. If you're the feminine, lean back. Let the masculine lead. So feminines, if the masculine sends you one text or two text or buys you a go-kart, don't turn around and buy them a the Corvette. That's temperance, okay? Let the masculine lead. Let them stay a step or two before, ahead of you, okay? You lean back and allow, stay in your feminine energy. Not sure why I'm getting that because that, this does not say that. Um, but I was telling you guys temperance before this came out, Sagittarius energy. Again, they can't let go. Somebody's holding back. Look at this. Sorry, I was looking out the window. I hate that my snow stopped. Okay, um, Sagittarius, this is, this here we have some earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but this is all about holding back. Two messages here. There's a fear, also a very big fear of loss, fear of lack. Fear of losing you. They're afraid to lose you. <laughs> communication in reverse. But don't worry, we're, I think you are going to get communication. <clears throat> and a new beginning. Here they come, back again. Let me just clarify a few things. Why do we have. Should I look at those? They kept turning around. Truth, clarity. And feeling tied and bound can't let go. I think they've had a huge realization. But I still feel strongly for you to have this message of temperance, okay? And that may, wow, that may not apply to you masculines watching. Oh, yes it does, yes it does. Okay, so even for the masculines watching, don't overgive. Even though you're generous and thoughtful, don't overgive. Because there's a little bit, for, okay, this is for some of you. There's a little bit, this is for the feminines. Feminines need to stay in their feminine energy, leaning back. Um, but for you masculines, here's a new love that's coming in. You guys probably have another option. Wow. 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 Look at that. 
Wheel of Fortune. You guys are going to be blessed in multiple ways, I think. But, okay, I have to say this because it came in strong. So for you masculines... And it's not gender specific. So, you know, if it's a same sex relationship, there's typically any relationship has typically has a masculine and a Gemini, Gemini, and a feminine. So like I'm an Aries, so I have to be really careful to tame and not and temper my masculine energy. My masculine energy is to lean forward, to give gifts, to cook dinner for you, to call, to text, to express my feelings, um, even when it's not coming back to me, or to question, you know, how do you feel? Take the temperature, you know, how do you feel? Where are you in this? You know, I have to temper that, and that's masculine energy, because I'm aggressive and I'm you know, always working and always trying to make things happen in my personal life or in my professional life. So I always have to temper that, turn that off for my personal life. So that for masculines, and we all have masculine and feminine, so take this how it resonates. But there are some of you that I feel are needing to hear this. The masculines do you know, like to give and take control, but if you get over give, it sets a bad tone, it's not appreciated, so don't set that dynamic, you know. Don't buy someone a dozen roses after one date. You know what I mean? Don't talk about the future. You've, you've got to, you know, mirror them a little bit so you are on the same pace. You don't want to overdo it, even though you're the masculine, okay? Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. All right. Um, do we need to know anything? Oh, yeah, we wanted to know why we have the world card. Okay, it's a don't give up. Don't give up. So the ten of wands. Wow. Oh, you guys, I probably should do a twin an extended because it does look like this could be twin flame for some of you also have strong Aries but you know this also to me is somebody coming down again off their high horse because it's with the the devil card which is obviously you you could be dealing with an Aries that could be all this is but with this too somebody had an awakening that um Maybe that they're not all that. <laughs> Something like that. You know what I mean? Like they're not. Um, they're not going to be able to treat you however they want and still hold on to you. Okay? Something like that. Let's get an oracle. That's interesting. The tower was just on the bottom of the deck, but maybe from another reading. I don't know how many chimes that was, but it's only two o'clock, so there should have only been two chimes. I need to have a clock guy come service that. <sighs> Milk and honey. Yeah, you guys have, you know, the rainbow after the storm coming. That's amazing. Wow. Sweet, balance, nurturing. After this, after somebody being either controlling or thinking they could get away with, you know, not treating you right, somebody's coming around. Building blocks. There you go, stable foundation. So, again, there's a strong message for you guys. When you, when this person comes back, yeah, make sure that, okay. Make sure it's equal. There's going to be, make sure there's a good balance, right? Because we want this to last this time. We want to set the tone right. So, 
you've got building blocks build, rebuild the foundation correctly this time with an equal give and take this is one of the first card these are the first cards that came out remember well they weren't flyers i don't think were they but whatever these were our first cards we laid down and then we have poised keep your keep your um composure you know know your value that way other people know your value. You don't have to speak it, you just show it. You have that attitude of, yeah, um, I, yeah, we, you know, we can try again. What do you think is gonna be different this time? Kind of like, let's just do things right this time. I don't wanna repeat in the past. Don't let them sweep things under the carpet, but you don't have to, I know what it is. Make them do the work. Make them ask you what you want. Make them, if they just want to hook up and get together, then, then you know, well, I don't understand. I haven't heard from you and da, da, da. I mean, I'd love to see you, but what, you know, you know what I'm saying? Why, what? So keep your composure, keep your value, co-create, make sure it's equal. Rebuilding, building blocks. That's my Christmas tree in the background. All right, you guys. Love you guys. They're coming back. They miss you. Um, they've been knocked off their high horse. I don't know how else to say it. They've, um, they're crawl They're going to come crawling back is the best way to say it, basically. Okay. Okay, Capricorn, love you guys. Let me know in the comments, and I will see you soon. Bye, Capricorn.